All right, welcome back. We still got a donation here, a bit late, but for RDV saying, let's go, RDV, you got this. That was a five euro donation from Finn. And up now with Make You Jin Da Baba by Jelly Dots. Uh, take it away, my brother. Hello, everyone. My name is Jelly Dots. Today I'm uh, joined by Mother Brain 86. Mother Brain. Mother Brain. And today I'll be playing a Famicom disk system called. I'm sure you all can read this. No, it's Make You Jin Da Baba. Which stands for Temple Labyrinth Da Baba. Yeah. And We'll show who, uh, who Dalva is right now. The time won't start now. It'll start when I get, how you call that, character control? Yeah. 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 So I'll just press start and I'll just show this lovely cutscene because this is actually one of the few times I can just chill. Exactly. So I'm just here because this is an NES game and, <laughs> I, and I'm the NES boy and I want to see some NES games. That's Dababa. Dababa. Oh, sure that's Dababa? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And basically, he just shocked us and kidnaps our girlfriend, wife. I don't know the story, actually. Yeah, <laughs> same here. I don't even know this game. <laughs> but we but are we're angry. Exactly. We're Krillin without the dots. Let's go. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Famicom Disk System, it's a system with disks that have two sides, A and B. And basically, once you have at times at the game to just how the loading works, we're going to have to the disc and now we're gonna go into the game okay timer starts pretty soon yeah so start now oh this guy started different where are you starting <laughs> so anyways as you can see this whole game is jumping and the other part of this game is that there's a lot of mysteries <laughs> this is really hard casually I will say yeah. a lot of people don't know this game but if you knew you would not be happy seeing this game. I'm just gonna count this out because if you shoot that seven times there, you're dead. Because it now makes a hole. But that's important to get that life refill. Plus it gives us extra health. Very so nice. anyways, this is an overworld stage and the goal there is to just enter to the actual areas, which look like these. Nice. In these areas, the goal here is to uncover these uh, hidden tiles. They're always yeah. the same, so it's just memorization where they are and just optimizing where, how and where to jump. Cool. Um, there's a lot of, like I said, this game is, <laughs> is very unforgiving for a blind player. For example, once I uncovered this block, you'll see that this book is here. You need to get these books at every stage. Oh, he actually <laughs> jumped far. This is actually somewhere where you want to be careful because if you jump on that tile while it's open, that's actually an instant death. Oh, that's nice. And this uh, hidden item I just got, I think it's a cape or a scarf. It looks like a cape. I, I would use it as a cape. <laughs> that actually uh, makes sure that you only get half the damage from every hit. Oh, that's nice. It's like, uh, yeah, like an armor piece yeah, or whatever. Yeah, basically. But as you can see as well, what I'm... 100% seeing because I've not played this before, but all the sounds you hear from jumping and or basically like the whole game mechanic here is much like Star Tropics. Uh, even yeah. like this block coming up here and like you don't have enough time to finish this or you need to be fast, <laughs> etc. is a lot like Star Tropics. And uh, this game was apparently earlier than Star Tropics itself, so I wouldn't be surprised if they had some inspiration off of this game. Yeah, and you also notice that there's a large variety of enemies. Oh. And have jumped on the enemy, but <laughs> um, but anyway, oh, that's a terrible strat. Do not jump into water. No, that's not a good idea. <laughs> it's not a vast of time loss yet. <laughs> oh, you do lose your weapon though if you die. Yeah. Um, now I have the default weapon, which is okay. So let me quickly explain the weapons. Also, um, I have full HP now <laughs> because I took that tip. That's nice. But, oh, get it. There we go. Let's just be careful here this time. So if you get the final book, every enemy on the screen basically just dies? Instantly. For a limited amount of time. Okay. That's why I'm just going to the exit straight go away. Fast. Go so fast. this is the first boss, and we missed the first quick kill. <laughs> but we might actually... Oh. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh, like a, a stun lock? Very nice. Yeah, and that's the first boss. Yay. Nice. <laughs> Very good. And this is where I can explain that... Um, I actually learned this game earlier this month. No, wait, last month. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's because of a Japanese runner called Rota. R-O-T underscore Oh, yeah, no, Rota. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah, and he basically was like, Oh, you're uh, oh you want to learn this? Here's, all the here's my route and my strats. Oh, you already routed this out? Does yeah. he have like a better time than you have? Or? He doesn't have a time. Oh, he doesn't. He have was a still time. busy routing it, and I don't think he has a time. He has uh, done a run yet. But he was like super excited that I was gonna uh, that I was playing it, and I've heard that he might e even be watching. So that's cool. That's cool. Shout out to Rada. Yeah, definitely. And oh, like what secret. you asked earlier, the weapon. I um I now have the default weapon, which is also the fastest weapon. Okay, that's gonna help for something at least. Yeah, it's the weakest but fastest, and there's four weapons in the game. Um, the other one is the fireball, which I used earlier. Uh, let's. Oh yeah, eh, one hit. Who cares? Oh, um, it's all good. It's all good. That's not good. That was unintentional. Okay, yeah. I was like, oh, maybe that's intentional, but there's a part where things like that are intentional. Okay. Not yet. Now, I have noticed um, that there's no fireball in this whole screen. Which is sad because the fireball is my favorite weapon. Well, are you gonna get it soon? Like in the later stages? Or is um, it gonna later take a Later stages. While? Okay. But it so does then. allow me to get another weapon, I guess now. Which is, in this case, I'm gonna go with the cannonball. Cannonball, that's pretty cool. Which is. Um, the strongest weapon, actually. But it's slow, maybe? Like, or? Yeah, and the thing is, it can only have one projectile on the screen. And oh. you may notice that it can't actually go over gaps. I which see. is kind of an issue yeah, <laughs> in a lot of parts of the game. And that's the best weapon to use, for sure. I'm gonna get the one up here. Just happen to know that there's one there. It's a good call. And let's see, kill two wizards. I'm gonna need to kill another wizard here, not just for not just because of choice, but because it's actually necessary. There we go. We get this bridge appearing. The fourth weapon oh. is actually hidden on this stage, but it's the slowest weapon by far. Oh. So, anyways, now we're at Dimala, the dragon boss, and interestingly, I do think that the cannonball is actually faster if it doesn't oh. grab me like that. <laughs> But the issue is just that I can't really shoot um, horizontally and I have to wait if I miss him. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. Is it the, the pattern is just 100% RNG that the guitar yes. gives you? Or? Like, basically, if you're close to him, he will start swooping down. Okay. Oh, some cute hits right there. It's basically like a little bit... Ouch. Oh, that's not true. Oh, well, that's oh, there you go. Good. That was good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's probably faster than my PB. Okay. Because oh. in my PB I use a fireball and that's slow. It's weaker. Yeah, so it takes more hits. Yeah. yeah. But I have to take a death now. Okay. I'll just be holding down for this reason. But why do you need to take a death here? And I'll explain when, I sh uh, when I'm near the exit of this. So, like I said, every... Um, the first four areas, rather, have an overworld. In this case, it's this one. And... The trolley thing about it is you have to figure out what to do in them. In this case, you have to, one, get that key. And second, also we're going to be able to see if there's a glitch in the game. On, All right, on, of course. On the actual hardware. I hope. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. It's not a fine save. I think but I've just shown this to me. Let's see if it works. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> nice. I don't know why that happens, but if you make a long jump from that tile, it will actually just warp you back to the stage. Interesting. Anyways, you need to get that key, and then you need to shoot that uh, the door. Huh. And that makes this bridge appear. So if I had the cannonballs, I couldn't actually do that. Ah, okay, I see. <laughs> and that's the same for the fireball, or...? Uh, the fireball makes it fast, the gaps. Okay. 
So it's only the cannonball that can't actually do that. And speaking of the fireballs... There it is! It's or gonna be... <laughs> yeah. It's coming! It's debated! <laughs> there <you go. laughs> They're over here! Uh -huh. And hopefully I never lose them again. <laughs> yeah, just pro tip, don't die. Now I have to... So, the stages sometimes have a quote on enemies that need to die. And that okay. was one of them, so that's why the bug didn't, didn't appear immediately. And scary jump here. There we go. Oh, nice. On this screen, the... How do you call this? Like a chandelier <laughs> shape here, or candles stand. Oh. That's kinda cool. Oh yeah, I see what's coming, yeah. Here are you talking about. Yeah, it's in the leader. Well, at least that's what I would say. Correct <laughs> me if I'm wrong. There we go. We're gonna use the Mother Brain Dictionary for that one. <laughs> Is there one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I didn't kill the wizard, which means that the book doesn't appear yet. Oh, there's actually a appearing on there. That's good. Cool. Anyways, we're not gonna grab the book yet. Um... Oh, Ooh, a little too early there. Ouch. <laughs> Damn, My the fireball. Soul. Yeah, the fireball doesn't want to stay. Let's see if we get it this time. There we go. That's actually important. Just not like an optional thing. Because we get a mirror there, which doesn't oh. sound too impressive. <laughs> I like mirrors. What does the mirror do exactly? Um, the mirror is necessary to actually beat this world. <laughs> Oh! The game's fair like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that seems fair. When I was like blinking, like, hey, you did it, you got and the mirror. We need to do another yellow jump. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Okay, this can be very tricky with these specific jumps that have only certain places where you can jump to, yeah. or you just basically instantly die. And here we need to wait for this third one. That gives us the book. Now! There's two exits here. Oh. This is the real exit, and you can only do it if you have the mirror. Wow. <laughs> We're just gonna jump to make this go a bit faster. Uh, this one, you, yeah, you keep you jumping too there. high yeah. if you're on that one. So luckily this boss isn't really an issue if you have the default weapon. No, that's, that's pretty easy. There you go. And now it's time for the final world? Yes. Alright, final world. Let's the final go. world has no overworld. Oh. So we're just gonna get thrown in. So why exactly the Temple of Dababa. Why exactly is this on a Famicom disc system if it's only one side? Is the underside only for the intro? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not Konami. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a lot of damage there, which is not intentional, but it's not a big issue yet. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do this screen optimally, actually. This is like the one screen where I'm like, how do we do this perfectly? Because the pattern and how you jump is just so odd. Yeah, I see what you're saying there. This is the real exit this time. <laughs> there we go, it was actually an exit. Uh, here we have to make a 4, basically, or something similar to it. Okay. If you do anything else, it's just not gonna complete, or well, is there no other option? Um, there just aren't any other hidden tiles. I see. Oh, I see what kind of four it's gonna be. And that unlocks. I would not call it a four, but... Maybe. Yeah, it's not really a four. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just gonna wait here and not die. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Pretty important. Get some extra health here. Yes there, uh, yes, there is, isn't it? So, like I said, eventually the uh, enemies will spawn again. Ah, oh, yeah. But in this case, it's worth it for the fireballs. Not too bad. There's a cannonball here, but we don't need it. Don't even want it. <laughs> That's just fire, literal fire. <laughs> it's a trap. Oh. Yeah. It, and what are those? In the fourth stage, we just start getting traps. That's not, a fake door. It's not as bad as Star Tropics, where it's like so many <laughs> traps and like all multiple yeah. dungeons. You may notice that there's two doors. That's, um, one of them actually takes you back on screen. Oh, oh, that's one screen, not a whole world or something, right? So Yeah, yeah. but it's just a setback and you're gonna be like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> but we are, uh, nearing, um, the final boss. Very nice. Luckily. Pretty good pace. 
Hopefully that fight does not go bad. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> and this is where the cool thing happens because so this game has a credit screen. Oh, that's why you need that other disc. Or the other side of the disc. That's so why. we just jump off there. And sure. this is the credit screen. I don't know how to get the credits here actually. Oh. I actually legitimately don't know. Okay. But this is the credit screen. <laughs> I've heard. Let's enjoy the credit screen. And the good thing about the credit screen is the next screen is immediately the final boss. Oh, Alright, so it's sort of like a wrong warp. Let's yeah. go. Now, I will warn the people who are uh, on the desk that when this guy explodes, that's not time yet. It's, um, there's multiple fight phases. Spoilers. <laughs> oh. This is actually double buff, but in another form. Oh, he's trying. Ah, miss. Okay, so we're not. Um, when the next boss face explodes, that's when time is it. Alright, let's do it. And the game debates you. You're like, yes, we got her. We got the girl. We're safe. We did it, guys. Debated. Boss music. Oh. And let's see if I can get it. I got it. it looks good. Come on. This is the quick kill. Time. Nice. Didn't even need to save state practice. <laughs> awesome, dude. That was a great run. I will quickly flip the disc. Yeah, flip that disc. That's you. The real ending now screen loading. right there. Please give the other end, the other flip. And here you have the ending cutscene. Oh, nice. Oh, there he is. Now he runs. Now he knows how to run. All the time he's <laughs> jumping. And when there's a staircase, he's like, yeah, man. Don't you all just have that when you're angry that you just find a one to jump and stomp only? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do, yeah. Like, so imagine how hard he has to jump to actually destroy all those blocks. Pretty, pretty rough. Like <laughs> so you got the real curl. So you got a 14.53. Is that any close to your PV? So, like I said, I don't know <laughs> the PV without, right. load, uh, without right. taking the total time. But it might be. It's pretty close. That's really close to PV. Nice. So, awesome. And there's the hearts. So, yeah. What did you think about that? Dude, great run, I love it. And it's nice and short, not too complex. Yeah. And looks like a lot of fun to run. Maybe I should pick it up. Yes. <laughs> and everybody else who's watching also picked this up. This is a very unknown game. There's only one runner. That's this guy. Who? Jelly Dots. Yeah. Give us a competition. <laughs> thank you for watching. You have any final words? Um I'd like to thank everyone at BSG as usual. I uh, wish the next runners good luck. And here's the end text, meaning that. I, it's probably saying, go, leave, so I, think it's I guess that's what I'll do. See ya, guys.